Hello, welcome to our first video in year three. And this is a video to help you with your homework for this week. We've been looking at hundreds um, in our maths this week, and we've been doing lots of counting with hundreds. So we've been counting 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, and you have all been brilliant at doing this. So our homework is all about you being able to show the people at home that you're working with how good you are at counting in hundreds. So your questions that you're doing with your homework will look like the ones that I'm about to show you now. So this first one is about finding your way through a maze from the start to the finish by counting in hundreds. So let me have a look and see where we're going. So from our start, we are starting at 100. So what I need to do is I need to start there and I am going to look for where I'm going to go. So from 100, my next one would be 200. So I'm looking for a 200 that's nearby. So there's a 200 that is in one of the next boxes. So from 200, I need to go to 300. And then I'm looking for 400. Now there's a 400 here. Or there's a 400 here because I want to go to this side I'm going to choose to go to this 400 the next number would be to 500 and then 600 and then 700 I can choose where I'm going so I can either go straight up or I can choose to go to this one because it's get again it's getting me closer to where I want to go so there's 700 800 900 and after 900 the next one we count to is 1000 so there is my route through the maze and that's your first question it is like this it's not exactly the same but it's the same type of question that you answer in the same way good luck with that one our second question looks a bit like this and it's asking you to match the numbers that are written with digits to the numbers that are represented in a pictorial way so it's represented with pictures and what we have in our pictures we have got our Dean's apparatus that's the blue plastic material that we were using and we can see that the, we these are hundreds so these are hundred squares from our Dean's and we have got one two three four of those and we know that four of our hundreds is 100 200 300 400 oh and look there's 400 there so i know that these two pictures will match each other in our middle picture we have got our hundreds column our tens column and our ones column we don't have anything in either the ones column or the tens column, but we have six counters in our hundreds column. One, two, three, four, five, six. And because they are hundreds, we can count in hundreds. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. So we have got 600 here and oh look, there's our 600. So again, I can draw a line to match those two values. The final one, we have got 100 counters. So let's have a look at the 100 counters and let's count them. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. And there's our 700 away over there. So I can join this number with our picture of 700. Nice, easy question. Again, you will be able to do that because you have seen all those materials in school this week. I just hope that you can remember how to do that. Good luck with that one. And the final type of question you've got is where you've got to look at a problem and explain whether you agree with it or not. Now, the one that I've got here is, is a little bit hard. It's, it's harder than the one on your worksheet. So if you can understand this one, you'll be able to do the one on the other sheet really easily. So we have a person called Shida and Shida thinks that A, B and C all represent 400. Do you agree? Explain your answer and you'll explain your answer to the adult that's, that's working with you. So what you first have to do is you need to have a look and check whether or not she's right. Do they all represent 400? Well, in this one, A is using Dean's material 
and that's our blue plastic materials and we can see there's a hundred here there's a hundred here so that's 200 100 200 what about all these now these are tens how many tens have we got so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten tens and if you count in tens 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 10 tens is the same as 100 so i've got an, another 100 by counting the tens and over here it's exactly the same there are still 10 tens but count them carefully just to make sure and 10 tens is 100 so i've got 100 200 300 400 so that one is 400 i'm going to put a little tick there just to remind myself that that one is i'm happy with that one let's have a look at b now b has got our hundreds tens and ones columns so our hundreds here 100 200 300 okay but what about our tens how many tens have we got have we got enough tens to make that other hundred 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 so i've got 100 here 100 200 300 400 so yes b is also going to get a tick because that is 100 so so far i'm agreeing with shida because she said that they all represent 400 but we have to check the third one as well so again we can see there's 100 200 300 so she's got three hundreds there so far how many tens has she got 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 oh there's only 90 there so this one has got 300 and 90 it isn't 400 so i put my cross there it says here to explain your answer if you have done all that with the person who is watching you do this the adult who's watching you do this you will have explained it you've already done that by working out what all the numbers are so i would say that shida is not correct because this one c is only 390 okay so those are the type of questions that you have to do as i said don't be worried about this last one if you think that was hard the one you've got in your homework is is easier than this and you should manage it so good luck enjoy doing your maths homework oh somebody wants to say good luck to you as well here he is puddock's with me helping me and he's waving to you good luck from puddock